Welcome to DeKalb, Illinois, and home of the Northern Illinois Huskies, and we are looking forward to a sensational showdown that the fans have been ready for for quite some time. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and we've got a team that makes it into the top 25. Now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. Turn inside his spot. And the ball pops out. Oh, inviting disaster. Grabbed by the kicking team. Excellent field position here for the offense. Kick returners usually have to have that home run ability. The ability to take it to the house 100 plus yards. But it's also a tough skill because you've got all these guys flying down the field so fast. And sometimes you get a big hit and ball security becomes an issue. Brings up second down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Trying to impose their will with the run. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. When running backs square their shoulders up is when they have the most power. You see him square his shoulders up, break tackles, be strong, continue to plow his way forward, just making it really easy on everybody in this offense by breaking tackles. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll try to get the first through the air. And it's a touchdown. Put six on the board. Touchdown. What a nice job by the offense. First drive of the game. They matriculated down the field. Put themselves in a goal-to-go situation on third down. It's not going to be easy throwing it, but they win the matchup. Accurate throw, and they get paid him. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that replay scoring drive. And it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Huskies offense will take the field for the first time. On first down, here comes this offense. The give to the back. He showed it all there, a little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. They don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. One play in this drive, and already out to the 41. It's first down. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and four. Out of the gun to give to the back. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. And 
good coverage by the defense, just a short game. They were able to get the ball to the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. And a great job by the defense, man. It's tough to get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the football as running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get into the ground. You want many guys swarming to the football, trying to get that. Throws toward the end zone. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. I think when you go through these progressions as a quarterback, you want to find the right guy to throw to, obviously. I just, I didn't think he was the right guy. I didn't think he was really that open. And listen, he sailed and he overthrew him. But I might have surveyed the middle of the field a little bit better. Than that. They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. Coming after it. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. Northern Illinois will line up to punt it away. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. And the coverage team down there to touch the ball. No return on this play. First and ten from inside their own five. You got to take care of the ball, but there is room to take a shot here. They'll go to the ground. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Out of the gun, the running back has it. At the 15, he's loose. They make the stop of this running game, moves the chains as they get the first down. Well, that's a big run play, and it's not easy to do. Down at this area of the field, backed up in your own end. I mean, you're running into a box that's loaded full of bodies defensively, but the ball carrier was just able to sort of sneak and weave his way through there, giving his offense now a ton of room to work with. The give to the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. You see all this movement in football now, all the stint, the defensive line, they're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. Got it in the middle, it's Williamson. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Good enough. Lots of time left and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. They go to the ground. Knocked down after getting six all the way out to the 34-yard line. And, and a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. Motion from the offense. Running back searching for a hole. They push it out to the 39 after picking up five. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. First down here for the offense. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Brings up second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. 
from the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Well, they try to go quarterback design run on that play, but the defense just not buying it. Nice job, everybody playing downhill and making a tackle close to the line of scrimmage. The punt team makes its way onto the field. And the punt will hit at the seven, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. The hand to the running back. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. And those physical runs to the toe. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line, second and seven. Off play action. Makes the grab on the left. Oh, the sweet spin, and he's free. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. Waltzes into the end zone, but he might be dancing the other way. There's a flag on the field. That celebration turned sour quickly after they saw that flag, and it wiped out the big play and the touchdown. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Give to Brown. It's these little moments like that that can help an offense as he gets it up to the 16-yard line. Make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They stop him after a short game. Probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. Timeout is called and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. Northern Illinois will line up to punt it away. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. Line gets set, first down. They're going to open this drive with a pass. He finds his man. Put it right on him. Sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the change with the first down. Nice job by the quarterback, pre-snap and post -snap. He knew the defense was going to be playing zone coverage, and there was no doubt in his mind where he was going with that football. They'll have it at the 49, just across midfield, first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. It is so good for an offense early in the game to get in a rhythm and to start stringing first downs together. It makes the game really easy and puts that defense in a situation where they're starting to get tired. They want to sub. They want to get other guys in the field. Stringing first downs together like this makes it harder to think. Fires the pass. Intercepted. He couldn't quite get loose on that return. He'd already made the play, and they've got it at the 35. QBs have to understand, when I'm throwing against zones, I gotta manipulate guys in my eyes. I might have to look one direction to create an opening to throw that ball or zip that ball in. I gotta use touch. It's really hard when all eyes are on me, and you can tell the quarterback was not ready and did not make a good throw. The Northern Illinois offense ready to go back to work. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter. Open runway ahead. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. 
Looking for a man. It's Hampton. It's complete to the right. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. And they can't make the connection, and it could get worse. A penalty flag on the field, holding, and it's holding, in the holding zone. Holding. Let's get the call. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Off the play fake on first down. The throw. He's got him this time. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Got his man quickly. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. Hold it. Hold it. Up and up and Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. On second down, he'll let it fly. Got it in the middle. It's Lewis. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. He's good. They will score. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from time this football game. Trailed a little bit in the first half. Stayed calm. This passing game can continue to heat up. Look out in the second half. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Right down the boulevard. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The offense set for a first down play. Looking to move it through the air. He'll off one deep down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. He's brought down, but there's a flag oh, on the oh, field. Let's oh, see oh, what oh, the call oh, is. Just an obvious holding call there, and one that just kills an offense's momentum. From the gun, running back gets to give. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. At the 15 yard line, brings up second down. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, looks like you've got a great scene there today in DeKalb. And a compelling first half for a variety of reasons. Yes, there's a substantial lead to talk about, but I think it all starts with this defense that has more than made its share of big plays. If things keep trending in this direction, you can bet a ton of those backs and receivers are going to spend a lot of time in ice baths before the end of the day. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Husky Stadium. Turner will field it and try to get some field position. 
He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The offense lining up for a first down play. They'll start this third quarter with a run. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. After the nine yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Keeps it on the bootleg. And a quick shuffle pass underneath. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if he can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. Man, I do not want a guy that will dance. I want square shoulders to the line of scrimmage, take the snap, secure the football, play physical, and fall forward. Nice job by that running back getting the first down. It's first and 10 from the 31. They'll give it to him again. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Tackled at the 43 after picking up 10. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. He's got a head of steam. Boy, he is hard to bring down. They've been very sharp on this drive so far. Now first and 10 from the 43. From the gun, running back on the move. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Got three on first down at second and seven. Now they're going to throw it. Fires to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. My job is to make sure that ball comes loose. And I got to go through that guy, use my shoulder pad, drive my feet, and really, really be physical. Because if he bobbles it at all, or as soon as his hand gets to the ball, you can tell the difference when that body jerks forward and that ball starts to come loose and pop out. They're setting up the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets enough on the catch for the first down. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there, getting that first. They'll snap it from the 47 on first down. He's going to pass. Can't hold on. He had it right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Brings up second down. Got a good one going here. All tied up in the third. It's second and ten. They want to just keep throwing it. Going over the top. And they can't hook up. Going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. And that, and that was good defense again. And unfortunately, we've been saying that all game long. Really, really good defense. Or, listen, you can spin on the other side. This offense has really been bad. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Throws to the wideout. He's missed three in a row now with that last incompletion. Another incompletion, and I've said that a lot, and these teams are just struggling. I mean, the offense just doesn't know what to do. Nothing's working. Ground game, throw game. It's kind of been a rock fight on both sides. They bring the punter onto the field now. He'll go back to work and punt it away. 
away for the second time. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. Northern Illinois takes over as the offense heads to the field. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been hold doing hold to be hold so hold successful. Caller, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Up and up and That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. A first down for the offense. Looking for a man. It's Hampton. Working that left side. Slips a tackle and he's got room. Afterburner's coming. He's showing it all. The juice, the jets, the moves. And he's got it down to the 16-yard line. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch. Making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. They just changed the dynamic of this possession in a heartbeat, and now it's first and ten from inside the red zone. Fast motion from the offense. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. And into the end zone. And he'll take this into the end zone, but hang on just a second. Flag oh, down. Oh, Let's oh, see oh, what oh, this oh, is oh. about. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has ten more yards it has to cover. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. He's all the way down to the three. An electric run has him set up. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. Old school running games. This has been the game for you and a couple of guys who start through the first three periods. Starting off this quarter, close enough to smell the goal line. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. How about that? That's two really good plays in a row by this defense. They gave up a lot of yards to get down here. Bowen, their next up. It's most important when you get in this area. Second and goal now. They get the big stop. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Wide receiver shows motion. The run up the middle, trying to power to the goal line. Touchdown, Husky! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. Running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst, and he showed all of those attributes right there. Getting set for the point after. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And he found his way to the end zone from the seven to cap it. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. First down here for the offense. Trying to start the drive with a pass. 
How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Good job on defense, getting a hand on it, tipping it up in the air. They weren't able to pick it off, but they do force the incompletion. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion. It's second and 10. He's looking to throw. This time, he's got his man. Well, it's a nice job by the defender there, closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimum game. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. The quarterback on the keeper. They've got the play bottled up. Fumble, it's out! Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Well, the quarterback did everything right in terms of his reads on that option play. He was supposed to keep it, but he's got to do a better job of holding on to the ball. Give the defense credit for getting to him and creating the takeover. Guys, we'll see what the plan is for this Northern Illinois offense. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. And every coach in America has a plan for this situation. The first four minutes of the game, the last four minutes of the game. How I'm going to construct my offense. Most of the time, I got to be physical. Run the football like right here. Run that clock. Get a few first downs, and I can end this football game on offense. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. Brown has it. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. Really nice awareness by that guy, too, because it looked as though his momentum might carry him out of bounds, might stop the clock, but he knew to get down. He was fighting to make sure he fell down in the field to play, and as a result, the clock keeps ticking. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll try to run for it. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. These situations are preached so much in college football. Finishing a game strong, understanding circumstances, they are running the football right at you, trying to keep that clock moving, get a few first downs, and get a W. And this offense not only has a chance to extend the lead on first and goal, but they can also drain the clock. Wide out in motion. They're going to give it to the wide receiver on first and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. And he walks his in for the score. Touchdown, Northern Wow, this offense, they have a lot of faith in this running back. Knowing if they get down in this area of the field, he can get it done and he can answer the bell. Two rushing touchdowns already for this offense. He'll try to tack on and one more. On for the extra point. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. A very efficient five-play scoring drive, and it was capped off with the eight-yard run. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. First play of the drive comes from the 22. They're bringing heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job beating the offensive lineman to get to the QB.
They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. Dialing up a second down pass play. Fires to the big fella. On the move at the 30. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. And this setter down gets started from the 33, first and 10. He wants to throw. Finds his big tight end. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Trying to convert this second and short. He's looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Wants to throw on third down. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. After that incompletion, fourth and short now on their own side of the field, I think there's a lot of coaches in normal circumstances that would stay conservative and just punt the ball away. But you're trailing here in the fourth quarter. I think the offense needs to stay out on the field. You got to go for it. They're throwing for it on fourth down. He's got a first down and maybe a lot more. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. They kept that drive alive, but still ground to cover here on first down. To the line quickly. They'll spike it to save some time. It's second down. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. And it's incomplete, but the penalty flag has fallen in the holding zone. Let's see what the call is. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. On second down, they'll take to the air. Looking deep. What a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about. And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, we've got a chance at a finish. And man, is that perfect timing. You can tell quarterback drops back. He sees his guy, and he knows he's open. But watch the throw. Deep down the field, Palmer, right in the bed, bread basket. Nice play, nice pitch and catch. Did a nice job of getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. On to attempt the try. The kicker is on for the extra point. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown, 21-14. Just under 40 seconds to go, and it's going to come down to whether they can get this onside kick to have a shot. Few anxious moments there, but the hands team true to its name as they make the grab and get the ball. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. And it looks as if the offense will just take a knee. 